everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got another book about a hat. Remember not too long ago, we read a book about a bear who couldn't find his hat and he said, I want my hat back. And he ended up finding it. Well, this book is called, This Is Not My Hat. This Is Not My Hat. This is about a little fish that has a hat on his head, but it's not his hat. Whose hat is it? And where did he get it? I hope he didn't take it like that bunny rabbit took the last hat. We need to get into this book and find out what's going on with this little fish saying, this is not my hat. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. This is not my hat. Written by John Clayson. Um... This is not my hat. I just stole it. <gasps> he stole it? That means he took something that doesn't belong to him. You're not supposed to do that. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. Ah, uh, that's a really big fish. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. Mm, nope. He just woke up. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. Um, he's looking on the top of his head. I think he notices that it's gone. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. Uh-oh, he looks a little angry. I think he knows who took it. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I'm going. But it looks like he's following him. But I will tell you where I am going. I am going where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It's very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me, says the little fish, with the hat that does not belong to him. There is someone who saw me already. But he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. The crab knows which way he went. He said he won't tell anybody. Oh, so I am not worried about that. But look, the crab is telling the big fish which way the little fish went. I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me. But I am going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. Well, that doesn't matter. It's still wrong to take something that doesn't belong to you. And look, I made it. Where the plants are big and tall and close together. Yeah, that does look like a good hiding place. I knew I was going to make it. Uh-oh. I don't think he knows that the big fish is right behind him. He sees where he's going. No one will ever find me. Uh-oh. The big fish is going in, too. <gasps> now I can't see either of them. Are they in there? Um, the big fish came out, but I don't see the little fish. And the big fish got his hat back. I don't know what happened to the little fish. Um, uh-oh. The big fish got his hat back, but I don't know what happened to the little fish who stole his hat because he didn't think that big fish was going to be able to find him, but he did find him, and he got his hat back. This was a funny book. The funniest part to me was the crab. Did you see that crab? That crab, he said, uh, I won't tell him. And then when the big fish came back, he's like, yeah, he went that way. He did tell him where he was. But I'm glad he did, because you know what? That was his hat. And he liked his little hat, and he needed it back, and I'm glad he got it back. I don't know why the little fish stole his hat, because you should never, ever, ever steal. You should never take something that isn't yours, even if you think somebody doesn't want it. Never take something that isn't yours. The Bible says thou shalt not steal. 
which means we don't take things that don't belong to us like that little fish took that big fish's hat. Did you see how sad he was? He wanted his hat back and he got it back and I don't know what happened to the little fish, but at least we know the big fish got his hat back. That was a fun book and I'm glad we read it together. But now it's time for my little fish to swim off into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whatever you do, don't steal. Don't take something that doesn't belong to you. And whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.